Hello friends, how is everyone doing? I'm Jazzy the Crossing and welcome on into a Christmas crafts video. It is only nine days away till Christmas, so I thought that it would be the perfect time to sit down and create some cozy Christmas crafts. In this video, I'll be making five different crafts. Most of the supplies are from the dollar store or Michaels, but there is one Christmas crafts kit that is from Target. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get into making our Christmas crafts. These crafts can get really messy, especially when you're using the fake snow, but there is no tools required. So no scissors, no glue, really nothing. So that is very good. <laughs> And if you personally don't want to participate in making these crafts and you just want to watch me making the crafts and just sit back, relax, grab a blanket, grab some hot cocoa, and enjoy. The first craft is ornament decorating. One of my favorites. For this craft, you'll need two ornaments, tiny Christmas trees, fake snow, and acrylic paints. Now I'm not really going to talk much for these portions of the video, but I just wanted to say that some of them I had a lot of footage for and others I didn't really have much. So some of them will be more sped up and others will not be sped up at all. So I just wanted to mention that. And like I said, these can get really messy and I use fake snow for I think two out of the five crafts in this video. So fake snow was everywhere. <laughs> Just a little tip, when you're putting the tiny Christmas trees into the ornament, they might fall over, so use a tiny paintbrush or just a tiny pencil, really anything, and just try to stand them up again. For this ornament, I wanted to make it look like Santa Claus, but I was originally using a paintbrush when I realized that you'll see the brush strokes. So then I went in and used a paint sponge. So definitely use paint sponges instead of the paint brushes. And also that's what you need as well, paint brushes and paint sponges. <laughs> Then once the paint dried, I then added the bell and then the little gold piece on the bell to tie everything together. And as for the bell and for the gold piece, I just used a paintbrush since, you know, there wouldn't be the brush strokes anymore. The second craft is clay painting. What you'll need for this craft is a Christmas clay sculpture set and acrylic paints. This one was really fun to do. It just took a while to paint, um, <laughs> so I just had to speed it up quite a bit, but it was definitely really fun. Um, I'd suggest painting the entirety of the thing, um, and then once the paint has dried, then paint over that paint. If you know what I mean, <laughs> like um, all the little tiny ornaments on the uh, wreath, I would just suggest painting over those and then painting over them once the paint has dried because it takes a while and a lot of precision to try and go over the ornaments without painting it at all. So just go over them. <laughs> but enough of me talking, just enjoy the music.
Next, we have the third craft, which is a handmade snow globe. What you'll need for this craft is a plastic snow globe, miniature Christmas trees, and a figurine of your choice. I chose an Isabel amiibo because, you know, it's a gaming channel. <laughs> This I sadly didn't have much footage for, so just enjoy what you have right now. <laughs> The fourth craft is handmade Christmas cards. What you'll need for this craft is Christmas paper and Christmas tape. I make these every year and even if it's not Christmas I use regular crafting paper and I make different types of cards but this year I didn't really do that good on making the cards. Normally I fill them out and make them really detailed. But for this video, I was already doing crafts for so long, so I just kind of didn't do it as well. But you didn't need any scissors or anything for this. You didn't need to cut down the paper. You All you need to do is just fold it. I know it seems a little bit weird, but with my cards, I like to add tape on the outside, kind of like a book rim or like a book cover, kind of, and then I add it on the inside as well. Um, and yes, I did drop the card. <laughs> but that's what the two cards looked like, and then obviously you can fill them out, you can add more tape if you'd like to. Um, so yeah. And on to the fifth and final craft, we have Mondo Llama Craft Kit. What you'll need for this craft is the Mondo Llama Christmas Craft Kit and markers of your choice. I personally use the Crayola markers. They are incredible and they almost never run out. This particular brand makes all different types of holiday cardboard crafts. They made one for the Halloween time as well and they're just amazing. This is what the Christmas tree looked like. <laughs> But because I was already doing crafts for so long, I decided to work on the train portion and do the Santa Claus craft. And by the Santa Claus craft, I just mean the Christmas train, the front of it, and it has Santa on it, so... <laughs> I'm again not going to talk much through this portion, so just sit back, relax, and enjoy this satisfying coloring portion.
and save $652. It's okay. There's enough for everyone. At Jersey Mike's, you gotta see him freshly slice your sub right in front of you. Look at So after all that, the coloring is basically completely finished. I think that it came out pretty good. Um, I would probably change a couple of things like Santa's satchel being um, maybe a different color instead of black because it did blend in a lot with the train itself. But I think that it came out pretty good. So thank you all so very much for tuning in and watching. And yeah, I hope that you have an amazing uh, day, an amazing holiday season, an amazing Christmas. And if I don't see you guys until this, um, until after Christmas, then thank you. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. And I'll see you in my very next video that I make. So bye. Stay well. I love you all. You all are the greatest. Okay, I finally finished coloring. Everything's good, but I forgot to check the back. <laughs> I hate it here. No! Oh well. <laughs>